ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Space Pirates and Zombies 2. We're now in episode 3, but before we begin, there has been a brand new patch for Space Pirates and Zombies 2. Patch 0.8.4, the brain surgery update, which includes a whole bunch of ways to interact with an ejected pilot. Like, now we can actually, we can actually, we can perform a lobotomy on an ejected pilot and cause them to lose all of their traits, all of their hostile traits or whatever. We can change their behavior after they've ejected. Now, this is frowned upon. If anybody sees you do this to an, an ejected pilot, um, witnesses will be unhappy about your pod fishing. <laughs> and then we can, of course, execute them. We can totally execute them, which means they start over fresh as a brand new pilot somewhere else in the universe, completely fresh and new. So they're no longer part of the faction. We like it's a complete execution, but you do not want to have anybody see, see you do this. You can now also cure a zombie pilot from being a zombie and turn them back into a human and revert them into their original, you know, person. So, and that's awesome. And if people see you do that, it does cost a lot of res, apparently, or a lot of res. It costs a lot of res. And if somebody sees you do it, I, oh, sorry, everybody hears, hears about it. So everybody knows about it. And everybody's very happy with the fact that you've done this. So you can actually take away that, that uh, zombification from somebody now. That's great. We can now neutralize a faction entirely. So this is one of the things I experienced with the first playthrough is that um, when you killed the last member of a faction, they just went and they respawned at their base or whatever. And they, they, they you couldn't kill them. Now you can actually destroy, turn an entire faction, totally neutral, destroy the faction, which is cool. Um, Starbase bounty increase. Uh, the chipper. Now you can actually break down items in your inventory so you don't have to sell everything you can actually break them down you get 50 percent of the scrap price for doing so and in the late game that becomes really important when nobody else has got the money to pay for the items that you've got lying in your inventory so that's really great the disinfector you can now disinfect um, blocks in your inventory without having to put them on your ship and then use goons it still costs goons but you can disinfect anything in your inventory which is great so i don't i wonder if that's worth it for reselling items i don't know i guess we're gonna have to see interesting that's great battle wagon uh, logic update and the fighter swarm logic update so with both of these now they will first uh, target so with your with your auto cannons or your auto fire will automatically target anything you've hit eat on so targeted and then whatever you're locked on and then anything else it can possibly hit so we'll go in that order now so it changes the ai slightly so that it's, it makes a little bit more sense and you can actually plan on it a little bit better so mining up upgrades apparently there's way more res to be found now in the mining ops as well as um, see, these are always, uh, and the two tractor beams to make, allow it so that you can pick up stuff faster. But I still think if you try to attack the, uh, the power-up res boxes that are in there, that you still get attacked. And the, the attacks are brutal. You get attacked by a lot of, at least medium, small and medium, uh, strike craft. So it's pretty brutal. So I'm glad they've made it a little bit more appealing, so they've added more stuff there. Uh, threat levels, strike craft, a whole bunch of other stuff here, but those are the primary ones. I can't wait to start messing with people's brains. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, man. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Did I... Oh no, okay, good, good, good. I thought maybe I didn't have the Steam Steam page up to show you guys. But there you go. Yeah, so we've got the new update. Let's get back to our game. So, on the last episode, we joined the Void Militia, which is great. We've got a nice little portion of the universe, and I have my eye on this sector here, on Dead Man's Gulf. I want to take the Starbase. I want to, we got to get our own Starbase so we can start making some serious coin. So, yeah, we're going to try and do that today, hopefully, if we make enough money. In the meantime, let's just check our ship, take a look and see where we're at. Yeah, pretty straightforward. We've got a couple level 2 parts and a couple level 1 parts. Most of our stuff is level 1 here. We've got a couple shotguns, got a couple missiles, and a lot of those cannons. I do like the cannons. They're really good at taking, or they're better than some things at taking out armor, but you know what? We still we still have pretty pretty cheap weapons for the most part. We've got a long way to go. And strike craft, we have Gimp level 2s, working on our level 3s, and yeah, good. So we've got three Gimp 2s, and they're so expensive to maintain. So expensive. But let's go help out some of our friends. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be drifting around in friendly territory here and helping with the bandits. Now, I've noticed some of the bandits now are starting to get really, really tough. Some of them, I've seen bandits as high as 40 already. Like, how high do these bandits get? Like, that's crazy. It's crazy. So I'm going to kind of sneak up behind this guy, maybe take out this strike craft first. Let's focus all of our firepower on this uh, strike craft first. We've got our friendlies working on him. So yeah, uh, you know, well, if, if, if he's going to target the the friendly maybe we'll come after i'm sure it's not that i'm a chicken i just don't like i don't want to have to repair too much damage right <laughs> whoa 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 didn't mean to shoot at my friendly whoops sorry about that sorry about that pardon me my bad so guys you guys are like all in the way here that's that's why i was coming around the backside but you guys went around the backside anyway so there we go fire fire kill him 
Shoot the main cannons! Wonderful. Oh yeah, he's toast. He's toast. <laughs> Look at him! Oh, he, take, he took a pot shot back. Now, another thing I've noticed, actually was pointed out to me. Whoops, what's going on here? One of the things that I noticed I was doing, actually somebody else noticed what I was doing, is that I've got the battle wagon mode on, which means he'll automatically target ships that are nearby to me with whatever appropriate weapons. And uh, with the new update, of course, anything that we're targeted on gets targeted first, etc. So one of the things I've been doing is manually trying to fire as well. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that, but I, I just like that control, but at the same time, yeah, you know, if I'm going to have battle wagon mode on, I just should let it do its thing and then just worry about targeting thing and targeting things properly and flying the ship, which is something that sometimes I struggle with because I'm hitting asteroids and everything. All right, <laughs> back to battle or back to the uh, map here. Take all. Let's see what we've got in the salvage. Yeah, it's only a little bit, but it's better than nothing, right? So we'll grab that. Oh. Friendly dude, Zoe. Let's see, how's it looking here, Zoe? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna help you out. It's good to have friends outside of the faction too. What are you fighting? You're fighting a bandit that's threat level 13, uh, two 16s versus a 13. We should be able to handle that so long as nobody else jumps in. Hi, I'm here to help you. I love your tats. <laughs> I love your, I love your ink, Zoe. It's great. Oh no, uh, another bandit jumped in. We can't, there's no way. Two 16s cannot beat, I don't think. Ah, uh, there's no way. I'll go for, is this the little guy over here? I think so. Yeah, well, look at all the strike craft too. I just don't think we can handle this. This is too much. We're probably gonna have to flee. Man, look, Zoe's already lost her shields. She's not gonna be much help. She's, yeah, I'm gonna lose my shields pretty quick here too. I'm start heading, I'm heading to the, Gate. Yeah, Zoe's almost dead. Yeah, we're toast. Look at all the straight crap. There's no way. There's no way. I'm getting out of here. Sorry, Zoe. Sorry. You know what? <laughs> There's just no way. This is a tactical retreat. I am... We're gonna lose... Oh, we're gonna lose all of our straight craft. That sucks so bad. Oh, man. I wonder... I wonder. There's no way. The, the other guy's level 20. The other guy's level 20. There's no way. There's no way. Ah, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. It's too bad there isn't like zombies here at this time. You know, this time, this time, this time the zombies, zombie strike craft. Oh, look at that! There's level three parts kicking around. There's no way though. I can maybe kill this guy without too much trouble. Oh, we're out of, we're out of ammunition. Okay, let's get out of there. Ah, no, no, we're out of shield. There's no way, man. We might be able to kill the one guy, but uh, it's there's no point. Oh no, no, no. Oh, whew. Almost, almost lost our engine here. Uh-oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Let's get out. Let's get out quickly. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to flee. That's just the way it is. Sometimes you got to get out. Um, because if you don't, you know, you're just going to lose everything. And there's no point in that. Man, those, the bandits are just brutal. They just, and they're, they're teaming up against us. And they're teaming up against everybody. They're just insane. All right, there we go. Whew, we made it out of there. Whew. Yikes! Sometimes you have to flee. You have no choice. Um, let's go do our repairs. Yeah, we lost. We lost a lot there. We lost all of our strike craft. Strike craft, unfortunately. Yeah, but at least we didn't die. We did not die. We could have died there easily. If we'd have stuck around, we would have died for sure. Now, what do we got going on here? We got two bandits. Yeah, no, there's no way. Nope. Two bandits versus. We're still. We're just not strong enough. Soon we will have some more strength, but not quite yet. Um, oh, level 17 versus a bandit here is level 17. Two 17s versus a 17. We can probably handle that. And what is going on? The, now it's what? Three against two? Oh, no, it's still two against one. Oh, they must have jumped in. Oh, they're jumping in on something else. Okay, perfect. Let's take care of this bandit. Oh, <laughs> oh man, we have no strike craft, so we're going to be relying strictly on our abilities. Let's, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's worry about the uh, big guy here first. Let's weaken him down a little bit so that our friendly ship here can take him out pretty easily. And then we'll start working on those straight craft. I will broadside, oh, I should, I should stick behind him, actually, so they can't broadside me, man. His broadside weapons, they're all anti-shield weapons, I think. They're like, actually, they're the, the, the junk, the junk machine guns, actually. They're not that great. They're pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> Now that I think about it, the junk machine guns at the beginning are like 0.3 DPS. Like, they're really low. They're really terrible. So, uh, yeah, he's going down. There we go. He's he's done. He's finished. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go grab those shields, though. 
Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, there we go. Beautiful, 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 wonderful. Ha ha ha! Victory! Excellent. Okay, let's go grab. Looks like, oh, a level 2 engine. Can I have your autograph? Uh, no. You cannot have my autograph. What is this? This is a squatter, an INSRM. Yeah, I don't think that's better than what we have. I mean, it's not that it's not. I mean, I like the INSRMs too, but uh, I think I think we will divvy that up equally. I'm not going to actually replace anything on the ship. So there's a comm stump here, which is a different type of nose. What kind of nose? We've got pretty good noses. Yeah, but we'll just take that. Sure, that's easy money. Sure, and... Carl is out sick today. Oh! This unit will not distribute the coil <laughs> of condescending in hurtful I love it. remarks. Um, we, now Your we mother's can... mass is greater or equal to the average mass of a red giant. <laughs> <laughs> your mama is so fat. That is funny. It's a your mama so fat joke. Um, do we want? I think we'll go for more strike craft command points, increasing your total command points by eight. Don't we have eight total right now? So this will give us sixteen. Wow, that's pretty substantial. I think we have to go for that. Um, not that we can afford the strike craft to go in it. Let's get out of here. There's a lot of bandits over there. I'm not gonna salvage because it's just way too many bandits. Uh, if I help, this is Doctor Bork. Doctor Bork. Hmm. Okay, so let's grab a couple. I'm not going to go too crazy with straight craft. We'll do a couple short buses, a couple of gimps. Otherwise, we're going to be broke. Let's have... Oh, please. I hope those bandits don't come back. Ah! Oh, every time. But the, Dr. Bork is level 25, though. We might be able to... We might be able to help Dr. Bork. We're going to stick too close to Dr. Bork, I think, this time. Whoops. Pardon me. Excuse me. Ah. Get those shields up. Oh, wow. Look at all the straight craft coming in. You know what? Let's... Let's work on Strikecraft, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what the right choice is. I think we can probably take this guy out fairly quick. If we take out this this ship really fast, Engaging. then we should be able to deal with the other guy together with Dr. Bork without too much trouble. This guy will go down really quick. Oh yeah, look at this. Taking him out. Yes, we're gonna win this. I have a feeling we're gonna win this, maybe. There we go, Dr. Bork. Now we can focus all of our firepower on the other guy. Fantastic, let's get our Strikecraft on him. Perfect, two on two, we're gonna win it. We're gonna win it, I have a feeling. Shield's already down. Oh, we're out of ammunition. We're waiting for a reload. Get this ship turned around a little bit. Get those shields back up a little bit. Dr. Bork, oh, he's done substantial amounts of damage. I could do a ramming run. Shall we do a ramming run? <laughs> yes, let's do a ramming run. Here I come. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Boom. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Go, 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 go. Before he blows. There we go. Nice. We did it. Dr. Bork is about to blow, though. Now, if Dr. Bork blows, I don't think we take a faction hit. Like, I don't think that'll affect... I don't think that'll affect us negatively if he dies. I don't think. Yeah, he's dying. Oh, that's too bad. Well, we've, all we got to do now is kill some strike craft, and we've won this battle. And the nice thing, the, the, the on the bright side of all of this... Because Dr. Bork died, there's a chance we're going to get all of his parts, too, or some of his parts, as well in the salvage. And on top of that, um, we don't have to share the loot with anybody. So it's kind of a win-win-win-lose, <laughs> because, of course, one of our faction members died, and that's never good, right? But I'm trying to keep, trying to look at the bright side. We get a lot of loot out of this. Is there anything that we need to, we can replace right now? There's a level one, there's a core, but there's level zero. Oh, look at all these parts kicking around. All level ones. Well, this is a good money-making, uh, good money-making battle anyway. A geezer. Ooh, an uh, ion shotgun. I do like the ion shotguns, but I, we're good for noses, I think, right now. Yeah, so we've got... We've got an Ion SRM. I almost prefer the shotgun. You know what? I'm going to replace the, this geezer with this geezer and go for the uh, go for the Ion shotgun instead. The shotgun is so good. I like it. The mandolin right. Uh, let's see what we've got on our right side. So we've got a doorstop right, which is a shotgun. Oh, I do like that. And re replace it with a different type of shotgun that does damage to armor and health. I think we'll do that because it's a level one as well. And it's... Uh, hold on. Let's make sure it's, it's better. Yeah, it gives us a little less shield, though. Actually, it doesn't give us any shield at all. The mandolin. Because it's more armor. But. But the shotgun is 3.5 DPS. Yeah, you know what? I will do that for now. We might. I might change my mind on that later. But good. Let's take the rest. We made a ton of money on that. Let's salvage the crap out of this one. <laughs> ah, cool. There's a couple more parts we can grab from that. Excellent. Sorry about. Oh, my poor guy. My poor. My poor friendly. Oh, cool. We got a medium part. A zapper pod. Oh. <gasps> 
A t manage a troop of four mid-range fighter using laser emitters. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Um, There's one more part there. The other guy's probably going to get it, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Yeah, interrupted. Okay. Cool. Let's get back to base here. Oh, actually, maybe we'll help out. We'll help out. How many? Is there only one bandit there? I think so. Hold on. Is he helping? Yeah, I'll jump in. Sure. <laughs> if everybody else is doing it, I'll do it. Sure. That means three on one. I'm cool with three on one. We, we, I mean, like I said, we're not getting as much salvage and stuff when we do this, but uh, you know what? It's a safer way to go, and we're, we made a bunch of money on that last battle, so we should be able to afford some more stuff. Our goal right now is to get, I think, about 5000 bucks so that we can afford... Oh, I love those shotguns. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. We've got a regular shotgun, too, now, so that does lots of damage to armor. Fantastic. Waste him. Kill him. Get every, get all of our strike craft on him to get the gifts to uh, launch their main weapons. The cloud torpedoes, which are, I think, do a fair amount of damage. That's what I've been told, anyway. I haven't actually seen one in action. I'm not quite sure. Whoops, 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 whoops. Not quite, I haven't quite seen one in action. Uh, yeah, well, our shields are down. Let's get out of here. Is there any shields kicking around here? Don't see any. Oh, there is one. Perfect. Little, oh, here it is. There it is. Bring it in. There we go. Shields up. <laughs> oh, and now we're reloading. Oh, man. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Reloading. There we go. Done. Fire. Fire the main cannons. Fantastic. Ah, we've got him. This must be a fairly high level bandit. I didn't even look. He's, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of cores anyway. Not that his cores are, that, uh, or his, uh, his weapons are that great, but it does have a lot of cores. There we go. He's down. Excelente. Wonderful. That was good. That was good. Quite pleased. Quite pleased. We're recovering from our small loss at the beginning here. <laughs> well, you know, I don't consider a fleeing and surviving a loss. I consider, you know, dying a loss. And we haven't died yet. Thank goodness. <laughs> dying always sucks. So you have two choices when you die. You have the choice to reload at the beginning of the battle. Or you can um, go back to one of the bases and rebuild it. Start, start from fresh. Brand new ship. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if, if we if we die, I'm going to go back and we're going to start over because I'm not going to reload. So, thank goodness we haven't died yet. Actually, I've been pretty lucky so far, I think, considering we're playing on hard. Wow, there's a lot of straight craft kicking around here. Perfect. Almost got him. Look at all those missiles coming in. Yeah, those. that's like the... Uh, I like that kind of missile launcher, although they don't do a lot of damage individually. Oh, hey, his ship look, looks, looks like Spider-Man. His ship looks a little Spider-Man-esque. Did you see that? That looked kind of cool. Neat. I love those flat cannons. Keeps them at bay. Keeps all those missiles from doing any serious damage to anybody. I love it. I think he had fighters in there, too. Somebody had fighters anyway. Cool. That was a great fight. I really enjoyed that. And just a basic wing. Let's get out of here. Uh, take all. Um, wow, we're getting good experience. We are getting good experience from these fights. So even though we're not getting huge amounts of loot, we are getting pretty good experience. I'm very happy with that. I'm not going to go for the second uh, scavenge on that. Let's go. Ooh, what do we got here? Another, what level of bandit are we talking about here? Bandits, level threat, level 19. Let's help him out with that. And then we got to head back to base so that we can buy some more stuff. Join fight Brain in a Jar. I love your name, Brain in a Jar. Fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're, we're so close to getting that battle, uh, the uh, the star base. So there's some shields over here. Good to keep that in mind. Look at all these uh, torps coming in and stuff. Shields up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, so as soon as we get that star base, we're going to start making some serious money. Man, I love those shotguns. They are so great. They're so good. They just rip apart those shields. I like them better than the Ion SRM, because you can shoot down the, uh, the the missiles, right? The SRMs is a short-range missile. Then you can shoot down those missiles, but you cannot shoot down those shotguns when they start. And I think our other shotguns on the right side, so we'll keep our right side to them. So we've got our armor-damaging shotgun on the right side. Oh, I love it. Look at that. We're just... Yes. Okay, let's see if we can maybe... Okay, uh, out of... We're reloading, reloading, reloading. Let's get out of there. Perfect. Let the, let the other guys do some work. Perfect! <laughs> turn around, turn around. There we go. Maybe take care of some of these little stray craft as they come in. Ah, there you go. You've got him, guys. You've got him. Fantastic. Little nudge on the asteroid. You know what? A little nudge is okay. Let's not get too close to the bad guy when he explodes. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Uh, the shotguns, yeah, they seem to do pretty well, even against strike craft, surprisingly. You'd think because the shotgun's not an exact weapon, like, it's not very precise. 
You would think it wouldn't do so well against Strikecraft, but it, at least two or three, three or four possibly, of the uh, shotgun shots hit the Strikecraft when they fire. I don't know if I can show you here. Yeah, see, oh, uh, yeah, I couldn't really tell there, but you get the idea. The shotguns actually hit more often than not, um, even against the Strikecraft, like you get more than one of the uh, shotguns hitting. Perfect, that was good. That was good. Excellent. Good job, guys. Good job. Anything left around here? I don't think so. Star map. Perfect. Take all. Um, let's see what's in these in the pile here, in the junk pile. Sure, I'll do one scavenge of that. Hundred, hundred and some bucks. Sure, why not? Uh, note, that's it. And let's go back and see what kind of money we've made. Dun, dun, dun. Repair the ship. Trade. Now, oh, wow. Look at all of our... Look at all of our cores. So, yeah, we... Yeah, we're, all of our cores are equipped. I'm going to get rid of any of the level 0 stuff. Let's hide equipped parts. Let's get rid of any of the level 0 stuff. Uh, meat hook. Uh, comm stump. Port glider right. Door stop right. I'm going to hang on to the mediums for now. They're, they're level 1 mediums too. One star mediums, which is great. We've got... Yeah, we've got that front nose geezer. Do we want to keep that? That's an SRM. I think we'll get rid of that too. And I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get rid of all of that first and then we'll decide what we're gonna buy here so let's take a look at our ship i think right side what have we got on right side right side uh we still got okay we're good actually it's our left side that we've got some zero star stuff or we could go for a better core our, our noses are all one star okay so we're gonna go for some left left side equipment if they have any so we've got no there's none here there's nothing yeah they have a couple zero but although that is a minigun i do like the idea of a minigun but uh, that's okay. Let's let's keep looking around, see what we can find elsewhere, and see if we can get into trouble on the way. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he attacking? Oh, he's harvesting. That's fine. I will let the neutrals harvest. That's okay. So, uh, how much money do we have? Twenty nine oh nine. So we're almost there. Let's see. What are we, what is it going to cost us? Build surveys. It's going to cost us five thousand bucks. Man, that's a lot of money. Okay, five thousand bucks to build our own surveys. Let's get over here. Oh, let's help out our transport. How many bandits are in there? Maybe one bandit? One bandit, I think. Let's ha help him out anyway. Move two. Perfect. Oh. Join the fight. You're the best. Yeah, yeah. You really are. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says. Oh, I forgot to build strike craft. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. We lost all our strike craft in the last couple fights. Uh, the Ah, transport's here to fight with us. Oh, he's got those green globby. Uh, I forget what those are called. They're really good. The green globby. Uh, shots. It's a medium or a large gun, and I forget what it's called. Oh, careful! You're hitting, hitting the friendly here almost. My auto fire is is hitting the friendlies. Okay, let's let's focus all of our firepower as or as much as our firepower as we can on him. Take care of those shields. Turn our right side to him. Let the shotguns fly. Fire! Fire! It it fires really slowly, but it does tons of damage. Tons and tons of damage. Uh, we're kind of driving into asteroids here, guys. Ah, it's okay. It's all right. It's good. Fire. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love that. Now, the 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 uh, the shotgun that does huge damage to primary shields still does a little tiny bit of damage to armor and health, too. Just not as much. Um, should I? <laughs> that that uh, transport's going to get killed just by the, uh, the explosion afterwards. Maybe. Oh, he might be able to get out of there. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what straight craft is that? Is that a medium? Can I build mediums yet? You know what? We should take a look. I'm not sure. Um, that is a tug. Ooh, not quite unlocked, though. Let's get... Uh, oh, one more threat? Really? Oh, another tug. I think those are mediums. I'm pretty sure. Let's go grab that. Oh, that looks so awesome. Oh, there's parts there, too. <gasps> a level two nose. Hold on. I gotta... Hold on. Let's go see and see if... Oh, yes. A level two nose. What is it? It's a dinghy. It's a missile. Ah, no, I'm gonna stay away from the missiles. Although it is level two, which is better money-wise compared to like the geezer, which is, I like the ion shotgun, we're gonna keep that. And then this one is the, the level two laser. Oh man. And then this one is the Omni Cannon. I like the Omni Cannons too though, but I'd rather have a level two in there just, you know, the value of my ship is better. You know what? If we need to sell stuff, I'd rather have a level two to sell, I guess. I know, hopefully we'll get some of these back, but we're sharing with two other people. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not opposed to the missiles. It's just we haven't gone that route, really. <laughs> okay, is that it? That's everything. Okay, let's get out of here. Two-star map. Okay, so we got the watch spire. Level one watch spire. That's fine. Um, 
Although I do like the Watch Spires, they do have good shield ratings on them. Um, compare that to a regular brick post. Hold on, not that one. One that we've got equipped. This one here versus this Watch Spire. Nah, you know what? Uh, the Watch Spire is better. All round, the Watch Spire is better than the bricks, bricks po brick post. So we'll do that instead. And uh, take all. And let's grab. I decided to let it in. <gasps> the last you course last lot! Yay! Allocations instead of you. Fantastic. We have the scientific limit of banana peeling and fecal bombardment technology. <laughs> banana peeling and fecal bombardment technology. Procedure. You know what? I'm going to go for scavenging. I don't normally do that, but I'm going to go for scavenging so that we're getting more out of these little... Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy with it because in the long term, like, we're going to be getting so much stuff we won't know what to do with it. Okay, weird. The game totally just crashed on me there. I was in mid-sentence and the game just went kaput. <laughs> Whoops! So, anyway, thank God for the autosave. It automatically saves after every battle. Thank goodness. Okay, so let's scavenge. Excellent, so we got our new level. Oh, great. Oh, hope for some good parts. Uh, we need another engine is what we need. A push it! What? <laughs> there is an engine! A laser! Oh, cool! A 1.2 DPS. It's a two-star two -star engine. I can't complain. All right, so let's scavenge again. Fantastic. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, let's go to the uh, build menu here. And... Let's remove this sucker. Oh, I guess the watch spire never got put on. Okay, I guess I must have I must have misclicked on that one or something. There's our new watch spire, and that watch spire now gets a 10% bonus, which is great. And we've got a new we've got a new engine, a level two pushy, and I think these are both cannons back here. I'd rather have the cannons. So the cannons will get a bonus if they're attached to the cores. So I think we'll do the cannons on the outside because I like the cannons better than the idea of a laser. So we'll do the cannons on the or the laser on the inside. The laser is really good for taking out shields, but by the time we turn around round usually the shields are gone so it's still going to do some damage to armor but not as much as these cannons well especially with the bonus they get a little they got a 23 percent bonus to their effectiveness now so cool right on all right let's throw that back on and away we go yes our ship is growing it looks a little funny but we are getting stronger much much stronger all right uh where to next guys i ooh, well uh, let's see uh how much money do we need we're at 30 30 we need about five, fifty-five hundred to build a starbase. I'm heading back, and we're gonna sell off anything that we don't need, and maybe we'll have enough. Including, we've got a whole bunch of extra goons too. We'll sell off whatever we can because I want to get a starbase this episode if possible. Okay, so let's sell off uh, like two hundred and fifty-ish goons trade. That leaves us with 127. That's enough. That's enough to run our ship. That leaves us with 3810. We can sell this dinghy. We can sell one of our brick posts. That leaves us with 4780. Ah, uh, we could sell, we could sell some res. We need about uh, I don't want to sell I don't want to sell either of our medium parts. No, 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 no. We we'll, we can always make more res though. So if we we need we need we only need like 700 ish we'll, we'll get a thousand just to be sure but i'm pretty sure that's only 200 res that we're getting rid of now we're at 57 71 let's go get our star base yay we got a star base oh, i'm so excited now it's of course when we leave the faction the star base will belong to the void militia i'm um, five thousand to build a militia star base is that right five thousand yes let's do it oh amazing Guys, we got a star base! Yay! Okay, so it's only level 20, threat level 20, which means it's highly vulnerable to attack. So let's see, can we, we can't fund expansion, we can't do anything right now. We already get a little bit of stockpile, but now this is our star base. So this star base will start to make money with the transports. It'll start collecting stuff in the region and uh, people will buy and sell stuff here. So we'll start to make a little, holy crap, that bandit is level 67. 67! Uh, whoa, that's crazy. Okay, do we have any money left to buy any more Strikecraft? Um, maybe a Gimp or two? Oh yeah, we can. Actually, I'm going to trade up the short, uh, short bus with an Ake. The Ake has uh, two micro launchers and a small turret and a small launcher. It's a nice balance. I don't know, it's a level three anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I like, there, that's good. And we'll get a couple of those in there. Perfect. Um, maybe an extra couple extra gimps there we go we spent all of our money we're up to threat level 21 look at us yes do we have time for one more battle i think so let's support our troops here and defend this troop transport what are they fighting a le threat level 39 bandit um but there uh, we can replace the transport i think battlefield is full but if we go to the transport we should be able to replace him in fight perfect let's do that perfect full battlefield three against one it is a big bandit good way to end the uh, episode i think 
<laughs> uh, hopefully, as long as we don't, uh, as long as we don't make any stupid mistakes here, like driving to asteroids and, you know, <laughs> the dumb things that I'm notorious for doing. All right, prepare. Uh, maybe we should take out the straight crap first. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. I'm waiting for the. Holy crap! Look at our sh our friendly got beat up really bad. They badly there right off the bat, um, which is kind of good. Like if our friend, I hate to say it, but if our friendly dies, we actually get uh, we actually get more loot and uh, well more loot, double the loot because because not only do we not have to share loot, it means that. Um, we get whatever was on his ship too, which is uh, not a terrible thing. Did he die? He must have died. Wow, he did. He went down super fast. I'm being extra cautious here. We could theoretically lose this battle. He is a level 39 bandit. Let's set our let's set our strike craft on him now. We'll we'll take care of some of these other strike craft that's just kicking around so that uh, our strike craft doesn't get chewed up too badly. There we go. Very nice. Grab some more of these blueprints. Perfect. Excellent. Ah, uh, yes, he is going down. The Gimps are actually doing it. Oh, wow. Gimp just got killed. <laughs> there, they did a bunch of damage, though. They did a whole bunch of damage. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. He's going down. Yeah, so very nice, actually. Oh, let's grab those shields. Shields. Come on. Oh, man. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. There we go. Excellent. And he's dead. Oh, perfect. That was wonderful. Wonderful. So I only have to share loot with one guy. Is that right? Oh, he's got a nice big medium strike craft. All right, let's go to the tactical. <laughs> ah, ooh, habitat deck and a port glider left. What have we got on our left again? Uh, we've got, oh, right. Okay, so this is probably a good replacement. Here, let's just compare that. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, we don't, we lose the shields if we do that, but we get, uh, we get better forward thrust. We get a little bit more health. I like shields so much, though. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's the right one I was comparing. Uh, what if we get rid of the minigun? I like the minigun too, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess we could do all missiles on the left side. Uh, I like the minigun better. I think we'll replace this missile with this missile. We lose a little bit of shields, but we gain some other stuff. Yeah, okay. Good clo- Oh, take all. Excellent. And let's scavenge that. And I think we're just about out of time. Oh, cool. There's more stuff to be had here. Excellent. We got our own starbase now, though, guys. So we've got to make sure that we upgrade that starbase as quickly as possible. Aw, oh, we didn't get any more parts. Okay, let's head back to the starbase. Let's head back to the friendly starbase. Yay, look, they're trading. We're making money off of the starbase already. Oh, that's so awesome. So we can collect the stockpile. We do get a, uh, a portion of whatever people trade. And every t even when I fund expansion, so I've just increased its level. Even when I do that, I get to collect some of that money back. That's so great. So I spend 1250 and I get back 550. <laughs> That's great. So he's already, we're already level 30, threat level 30 starbase. Oh, that's awesome. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the series. We're moving along quite well, actually. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, looks like, looks like Void. I think Void had this territory before, but they lost it. Oh, weird. Anyway, so anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series. We'll see you shortly. We're going to have videos coming out a little bit faster starting next week. If you caught my announcement video, you know that. Um, but uh, this, the last couple weeks have been kind of crazy all over the place. But starting next week, videos are going to be coming out at a regular scheduled time. So we'll see you then. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye.